not too long ago, I put out a video talking about the robber baron requirement for the scallywag title in D2. And even though it's only for just a title, I still think Bungie missed the mark when designing how ruffians work in Expedition. Wow, did that video get a lot of comments compared to any of my normal videos. The vast majority were in general agreement, or at the very least, people were interested in talking fairly normally about how ruffians work in D2. And while I would never want to live in a world where 100% of the people I talk to completely agree with me, because that would be boring and echo chambery, dear God, some of the levels of pure copium I read that day out of this world. And while we're on the subject of copium, while I was sitting around thinking if I should even make a silly ass follow up video on a tiny fiasco over something as small potatoes as an in game title, Bungie then released the TWAB mentioning that Divinity would get a 15% nerf. Now, while I understand that in the world of D2, that nerf is a fairly big deal, good God, reading some of the tweets that I saw that day was like sitting in on a Pawnee town hall. I'm probably doing myself zero favors by even entertaining some of the conspiracy theories that I read, but uh, eh, whatever, it's kind of a dry season, let's get wild. Okay, a quick TLDR on Ruffian Gate if you didn't watch the OG video. In order to get the Scallywag title, you have to kill 50 Ruffians. Ruffians spawn in Expedition, but only after a three minute timer that turns on when you activate the drill, and the drill encounter takes way, way, way under three minutes to complete, even by the most average of teams. So you have situations where either solo blueberries are out there chucking treasure away from the loot hall, so enough time can go by in order for a ruffian to actually show up, or you got people making fire teams with friends to farm ruffians, but then everyone has to sit there intentionally not doing the objective and twiddling their thumbs, while they wait three freaking minutes for the ruffian to show up. Oh, and when D2 players figured out that ruffians spawned in on a three minute timer after turning on the drill, Bungie in a super what the f move removed the timer out of expedition so we couldn't watch the clock. Okay, you're pretty much caught up now. Most comments I saw were along the lines of this one right here. Players who had no idea about the three minute timer suddenly feeling kind of guilty because they realized they may have been effing up the progress of blueberries on their team who may have been trying to get progress for their title. And comments like that IMO kind of shed light on why I feel the current entire ruffian system was just badly designed from the get-go. Players shouldn't have to feel guilty because they're just probably playing the objective in the activity as instructed by the game. Not only do most of them probably not know about the three minute timer, they're just playing like normal, which they shouldn't really have to apologize for. It's just kind of a shitty situation that one fire team could be filled with both people who want to simply grind out expedition and also people who want to actually wait for and kill ruffians. Both groups of players are within their right to play however they want. There's nothing wrong with wanting to play the activity normally, and there's also nothing wrong with wanting to earn progress towards your fun little title. It's just annoying that the way ruffians have been designed to appear in Expedition can directly pit player against player, something I saw a lot of in the comments and replies on both YouTube and Twitter. And then the inevitable happens, players reporting and screaming at each other in the DMs because one player wants to play normally and the other one wants to wait for ruffians unbeknownst to the rest of their team. And that's kind of why I'm not sort of down with the don't like it, don't do it take on this particular situation. Yeah, I can simply not go after the scallywag title, sure. But then again, if I'm just playing like normal, I could be all over some poor blueberry on my team who's trying to milk the clock for a ruffian unbeknownst to me. Here's what kind of really chaps my ass though. People who took the time to throw out any of the following, take your pick. It's not hard. I did it already. What's the big deal? People need to stop being babies. Yada, yada, yada. Look, I get it. It's a goddamn title. But are you really so much of a contrarian that you can't even admit a little bit to yourself that sitting around and doing nothing, waiting for ruffians to show up is just straight up silly game design? No one wants to sit around watching the clock, and it's also kind of bad form in general to even unintentionally pit player against player in a forced match made activity. You also have people who just flat out didn't watch the video at all, yet felt the need to chime in. Those are always fun. Then probably my most favorite wild take out of the bunch, which shockingly got brought up several times. Bro, just change your clock and solo queue. That is life support level copium. 
just because there is a potential solution to a problem, does that really justify the existence of said problem? You can just admit that the ruffian timer is bad design, bro. It's okay. DMG won't knock on your front door and sure you can you into the living room. It's completely fine to give feedback on sh in the game that you feel could be improved, as long as you're not being a complete prick about it and or directly attacking the devs. See the Twilight Garrison situation for more on that. Anyway, small update on the tiny footnote that is Ruffian Gate. Bungie Help tweeted out that sometime in October, they'll be putting out a patch that will prevent the despawning of ruffians once they appear. I.e. if you wait out the three minute timer and get a ruffian to actually show up, they will not despawn if you or anyone on your team continues to chuck treasure into the loot hall and reach 100% completion, which definitely was happening and can be frustrating if you're trying to go for that title. For that, I will say GG Bungie, definitely an improvement to the current situation. I still think though that intentionally sitting around and flat out ignoring the objective while just watching the clock tick away for a title is really boring and lame. I would have loved to see ruffian spawning tied to either loot hall completion, maybe some kind of mini game where you have to shoot certain targets or complete a tiny quick puzzle while shooting the ads, kind of like making a public event heroic. Still though, it is an improvement, which I'm sure most people going for the title will appreciate. Again, at least it's only for a title and not some pay to win fiasco or something like that. I'm sure most solo players will still be able to get the title. It'll just be slightly less of a pain in the ball bag now. Moving on. The other Thursday, Bungie announced as part of their big weapon sandbox update, they will be nerfing Divinity by taking the weaken effect factor from 30% down to 15%. That change prompted a fair amount of people to go on Twitter and do one of two things. One, directly and IMO unfairly attack streamer Salt Agreppo, who came under a lot of fire earlier in the month for his very direct opinions on how Divinity is too strong in the PvE meta, or two, use this opportunity as definitive proof that Bungie only listens to streamers when balancing or changing their game. Let's not beat around the bush. YouTubers and content creators 100% have the ability to influence certain changes within D2. I mean, hell, at the very beginning of D2, so much of the game was so unsatisfactory to the player base at large, Bungie held a really big in-house summit at their HQ. A lot of streamers, YouTubers, community members at large were brought in to discuss where vanilla D2 failed to hit the mark and what could be done to improve the state of of the game moving forward. But yeah, that narrative that Bungie only listens to streamers and no one else is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Naturally, there's going to be a small percentage of people out there who hear me say that and chime in with, well, of course you're saying that you're a streamer and you're defending the people who defend you. Right, right, right. There has never ever been a scenario in D2 where Bungie made a change and a ton of content creators openly said, hey, don't do this. Except of course, Skill-based matchmaking and control, creation of the flawless pool and trials, weapon and armor sunsetting, the slide nerf, the go slow update, i.e. when shoulder charge gave no horizontal movement, introduction of the aerial effectiveness stat, the removal of the thrallway, double primary near one, the removal of strike specific loot, every gambit change ever, the transmog system, putting the day one raid on a Friday instead of a Saturday, the eager edge sword nerf, <gasps> and many, many more. Multiple employees at Bungie have flat out said on their own accord that this change has been in the fire for months now before the div drama ever appeared on Twitter. But I guess if you're firmly in the camp that this is some kind of grand conspiracy theory, probably not much anyone could say to change your mind, I guess. I kind of think it's really easy to see why it's getting changed though. Here's a great graphic I refer to all the time from Court Projects on damage stacking. Go follow him on Twitter if you're not already. Divinity not only eliminates the need to be accurate with any precision weapon, but it also gives the biggest debuff stack as a special weapon while being on par with both a power weapon, i.e. tractor cannon, and a super, i.e. hunter tether. Is it really that wild to think that Div is the no-brainer pick if you want to bring a free debuff to the raid party? It's not even a choice at this point in the game anymore. If people aren't using Div as their go-to debuff option in fire teams, it's probably because they don't have the gun. Anyway, I'm sure new DPS metas will emerge, and as someone who loves abusing divinity, silver lining, maybe that means in the future Bungie won't design raid bosses as Omega beefy as day one challenge raid war priest. Real talk though, I do feel bad for Salt Agreppo at this point. I 100% think Bungie had Divinity in their sights way before the drama even emerged on Twitter. And even if you disagree, which okay, I guess, I don't think that gives you the right to harass or threaten some dude on Twitter who just gave his opinion on IMO what was probably the most powerful utility weapon in the game by a mile. Just my two cents. Anyway, take care of each other, voice your opinions like we live in a goddamn society 
Society, and I'll see you on stream.